Hey, I'm Isabel Burka, and when I was 12 years old, I founded a multi-million dollar bath and body products company called Da Bomb Bath. After five years of building my own brand, I've discovered a passion for helping young and innovative entrepreneurs tell their stories. Hopefully, you'll be inspired by the guests here on build biz and maybe even motivated to start a business of your own. Let's get into it. This is build biz with Isabel Burka. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to build biz My name is Isabel Burka, your host, and today I have a very special guest. Her name is Miss Juliette Blake, and she's the co-founder of an inclusive web platform called Miss O and Friends. Thank you so much for joining me here today, Juliet. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to talk to you. Yes, I'm so excited. So let's just get right into it. And I would love if you would just tell the audience and I um, how you decided to start Miss O and Friends and why. Definitely. Um, so Miss O and Friends was actually inspired by drawings that I did when I was 10. Um, I doodled these girls that I called cool girls. And my mom, whose background is in graphic design and illustration, took these drawings that I had done and created a character for my sister Olivia and I. So um, she brought them to life on the computer um, and would, you know, make Juliet go skiing or Olivia play soccer. And again, it was just a hobby for the three of us to play around. Um, And then one year for Olivia's eighth birthday party, we made these. I air quote Miss O like characters for her friends and blew them up really big and mounted them like on this thick foam core. So when her friends walked into the house, they saw these characters that looked like them. And it was the first time that we showed these illustrations to anybody else and her friends absolutely loved them. Um, So that was kind of like point A of this birthday party that led to um, <laughs> led to Miss O and friends. The other the other thing that sort of happened at this birthday party um, was it was Olivia's eighth birthday party. So I was 13. Um, my friends and I were, you know, thick in the middle of middle school dealing with all of those super fun middle school issues that girls deal with. Um, and I started seeing similar things happening with Olivia and her friends. And so I would see them click off or talking about their boyfriends or talking about how they didn't want to eat birthday cake because they didn't want to get fat. And it was really upsetting um, for me to see that. And also just really surprising that, you know, my eight year old sister and her friends were talking about these things and doing these things. Um, And so really what I wanted to do was to create a safe place um, for Olivia and her friends to help them through middle school. Olivia's nickname is Miss O, hence the name Miss O and Friends. And really what we've been able to do is grow Miss O and Friends into a multimedia platform um, that's all user-generated content, totally by girls for girls, 100% safe, COPA compliant. And it's all about creating a positive and, and empowering community online where girls can just be themselves um, and where they can get advice and ask questions in this judgment-free, toxic-free, bully-free environment where it's all about girls helping girls. Yeah, I love that so much. And I myself have a younger sister, so I can, she's not um, as like so much younger that I would, we were kind of experiencing middle school together because we're 16 months apart. But it was at, to the point where I would also see her experiencing things that I had experienced the year before. And you're right. Like, it's kind of heartbreaking when, like, you know, there's an experience with a little bit of bullying, maybe. And you just, you really want to be able to protect your younger sibling, or even if it's like an older sibling or just like a cousin or something, or just a friend, it can be really hard to see someone go through that. So that was really cool that you decided to then act on that and create a platform where people could kind of navigate this together. It's almost like a community space, which is super cool. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the point that you make about, you know, you're an older sister and you, you know, you, you feel for your younger sister going through this. Um, I'm sure your younger sister also has come to you with so many of these issues and problems to ask for your advice. But a lot of girls don't have older sisters or they don't have an older cousin or they don't have a parent or someone that, you know, obviously a parent's very different in terms of what you feel comfortable talking about. But what we really wanted to do was just create this safe place where girls can talk about all these issues that they're going through um, and where they can realize that they're not alone in what they're dealing with because what we've seen, and obviously from my own personal experience as well, when you're going through something you think you're the only one in the whole world who has ever gone through it 
<laughs> and that is so not true. Um, and so I think just the ability to connect again, safely, a hundred percent safely with other girls to realize that you are not alone is huge. And for us, our whole mission has been, a, has been to empower and help build self-esteem. And the way that we do that is by giving girls this platform to truly safely express themselves and to have their voices heard, um, especially with this generation. They want to be change makers. They want to make a difference. They want to understand um, what's going on in the world, who they are. They have a ton of questions um, and nothing is hidden anymore. I think now, um, you know, this younger generation just is so aware for better or for worse in terms of what's going on. And I think there's a lot of wonderful things about that, but also, you know, an eight year old being exposed to some things can be really scary and it can be really scary for parents too. And so to provide this safe community that where girls can, um, you know, talk about this stuff in a, a moderated environment is a lot less terrifying uh, for, for girls and for parents. Yeah, totally. And I can even imagine myself, it's, it's a little bit more fresh for me, not totally because I'm 20 years old, but I can still remember, you know, my middle school days, that those early middle school days, um, and even late elementary school days where I was going through the same thing, you know, th there were girls around me saying, like, I'm on a diet. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like, what are we, like, I remember being like five and being self-conscious about myself when that's really not, like, that's not something you should be concerned about because if people, they're really not judging you. So you shouldn't judge yourself. You should treat yourself the way that you would treat maybe someone that you, like a best friend or maybe like someone that you truly just totally love. love you. Right. So I can, I can see myself in the past, um, using that platform. And I wish that I'd known that existed when I was 13, 14, and even 15, um, which is super cool. Also, you mentioned the, um, the point about, you know, being young and kind of being exposed to these things. And it just made me think of an interview I did uh, last week with uh, Livy Redden. You should definitely check out her page if you haven't, but she brought up the point that a lot of the, um, and I don't want to call it like a self-help website because um, that just seems a little bit like it doesn't seem as fun as I think that Ms. O and friends can be because I think it can be like fun, a fun mm -hmm. self-development experience as well. But uh, Livy was kind of making the point that sometimes you just wait till the problem gets so, um, I guess, bad. It, yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> You have to have a problem. Yeah, like a very large problem. But if you find a platform like Miss Owen Friends and you can almost like, um, you know, you're not going to avoid life experiences, but just to have somebody to help you like navigate that, um, you can almost, you know, help yourself navigate that before it becomes too large of a problem, which I feel like is great. Yeah, absolutely. Um you know, we really focus on the tween demographic, which is like eight to 14. Um, and we're really, we've been really intentional with that, um, especially because a lot of other platforms are either kids, so like eight and under, or they're 13 plus. Um, and the tween demographic is such an important time for girls um, from a developmental perspective, um, all the different things that are happening um, with school and friendships and their body. Um, and it's something that we've been really um, specific about because it's still so underserved and there's this tween demo is still so underlooked. It's like, oh, well, you're either a little kid or you're a teenager. And like, I'm sorry, but like an 11 year old should not be like making like wave beach videos on TikTok in like a string bikini. Like that's just not okay. <laughs> like, and so the, the, um, the, the the other types of role models out there are kind of forcing these girls still to grow up too fast and to ignore this just like time in their lives where they're not little girls anymore, but they're not teenagers. Um, and, you know, obviously our site is focused around building self-esteem and trying to get, as you said so correctly, trying to focus on um, or, or kind of stop the problem before it becomes like give girls the tools 
before it becomes like too big of an issue or too big of a problem. Um, but our site is also really fun. Like we have the girl to girl wall, which is our safe socialization advice component, but girls can talk about anything and everything on there. Like they can talk about obviously more serious issues when it comes to bullying or, um, you know, whether it's puberty or friendship or school or whatever it might be, but they're also talking about what their favorite apps are or what, be wearing to the first day of camp or what their camp packing list is or music or TV shows. We have over 40 different groups where girls can really talk about anything and everything. And so it's just also a fun place to exchange ideas and get advice from other girls on non-serious topics. Um, and then the website itself, MissO.com, is all user-generated content. So if any girl likes to write, we were giving her this platform to have her voice heard and have her stories published and have her um, take on something shared with thousands and thousands and thousands of girls all over the world. And so that's like really exciting for us because it also allows girls to, you know, to really, ha really have what they have to say be able to be shared with their peers. And that's really how we work on building self-esteem is by show, telling girls and showing girls that, yeah, we really do care about what you have to say and other people do too. Yeah, that's so cool. And, you know, like I said earlier, like I can imagine myself really liking this. I might even go out there later and just see what everyone's talking about <laughs> just to kind of see what the kids are talking about. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Maybe not, but <laughs> um, and I also kind of, pick something out you said they can go on and um first of all when they can write something that's really cool because it just inspires you know entrepreneur or entrepreneurial tendencies which I love you know that um this mm -hmm. whole about that uh, but then also I feel that that could probably give a lot of girls a purpose during a time where they're kind of trying to figure out what they want to do with their life or even just like with the next four years of their life. Um, just feeling a little bit of purpose can really give you a lot of confidence. So I think that that's really important and I really appreciate that aspect of your site. So that's super cool. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's like a huge part of, it's a huge part of our site and um, just seeing what girls write about. It can be, some girls just have like, this is my blog and this is what I'm going to write about.